Welcome to Legolas 09. Weather top set 972. Pretty huge instruction manual here. And even though it does look like it's open like this, when you look at it like that, it's actually like this. Just kind of weird how they did that. Just my opinion. Okay, so here we have the Lord of the Rings um, weather top scene. This is one of my favorite scenes from the movie, and I really like the minifigures in this set. Especially since it comes with um, one of my favorite minifigs, um, Mary. He's actually exclusive to this set. Okay, so let me get the minifigs. Here, our first minifig is um, Aragorn. Pretty nice minifig. He has a torch now in the, um, I don't know what set number is, but it's somewhere in the 9,470s. Um, um, but he, he does not come with the torch in the, in the Battle of Helm's Deep. So if you like, if you want him holding a torch, I would suggest getting this set. It's also, um, a lot cheaper than, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than the Battle of Helm's Deep set. See, and he does have a double-sided face. He has like a calm face. Nice hair, this hair has been used on a couple other minifigs, but I don't know about brown. Brown has been used for like, I think only him, and a couple, like one or two other ones, but this is a newer hair piece. Um, it's, but it's been used a lot lately. It's been used in black for Severus Snape, and in light yellow or blonde for Thor. Okay, so next minifig is Frodo Baggins and he is quite different in this set than he is in the um, Shelob Attacks set. He has a green cape, he has a dark green cape in this set, but he still has um, Sting, the ring, and the um, that, that um, face of his. Except in this one, it's not used to make him look like he's paralyzed. It's used to make him look like he just got stabbed by the sword or is being taken over by the ring. I think it's probably being stabbed by the sword because he's all freaky and he has blue eyes and, like, well, ice blue eyes. I think he still does have blue eyes. Well, the actor does, but I'm not sure if they made him have, like, amber eyes or something for the movie. They can put on contacts or something. Um, but yeah. I really love this ring piece. I haven't done any other Lord of the Ring um, um, set reviews, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. What's up? It's a really cool piece. It's like the actual. It's like an actual ring piece. First, I thought they were gonna make one, and it was just gonna be a gold stud. But they actually came out and went like made like a shiny ring, and it actually does fit on them. And you can take off their hand, put this on, then put the hand on, and it'll be like he's wearing the ring. Yeah, you can also hold it like this. Oh, I'm just not gonna do that right now. I'll show you at the end of the review. Okay, next, one of my favorite minifigs of this set. It's one of my favorite characters in The Lord of the Rings, but not my all-time favorite, Legolas, as you can tell. <laughs> um, he just has a regular short sword. As you can see, um, Frodo, he actually has the design of Sting, the sword that, the elven sword that um, Bilbo Baggins gave him in Rivendell. It's um, it's a magical elven sword that glows when orcs are near. I don't think it glows when Urukai are near though, and that that's a big problem, especially in the um, when they get closer to Mordor, because Urukai were invented, and I don't think that it glows when Urukai are near. Okay, now this mini pig, all the hobbits have the same hair, but they're, none of them are the same exact color. I thought that Mary, I, I mean not Mary, um. Pippin or Peregrim and 
um, Frodo, we're going to have the same hair, but Pippin's hair is a little bit lighter, and I'll get to that um, in, when I review the Minds of Moria set, which I actually have, but I just haven't reviewed yet, because it takes a lot to move it down here. Okay, yeah, really nice minifig. He has a smirking face, then he has like a ballistic face. There she. That's actually ideal to his, what he does in the movie. He goes like, ah, or whatever, and like runs forward. <laughs> um, then he has like really nice red. It looks a lot redder on the camera, but it's actually more pale orange, kind of. More like Ron's hair color. Except not as red. Okay. Then here, my all-time favorite of this set, the ring wraiths. Here's, you get two. They just took one off the horse and one put kept one on the horse so you can see what it looks like on the horse. This is what it looks like on the horse. It has like a little holding spot. The horse does have red eyes. And it's like specifically supposed to be the ring wraiths horse. Then it can rear up. It's a new horse. Um, its head can move and it can rear up. I think all the other ones could too, but this one's head can like... No, actually I think it was that the head could move, but on this, the, um, the you can make it rear up too. So here's what it looks like. Because the cape kind of covers it, so. See, it has red eyes. Then here's the ring race. See, really nice job. Lego did a really nice job on this minifig. They have like the dark swords that they have. Like if you get stabbed by it, it turns to dust, and you have like eternal darkness, and you're about to turn into one, one of them. That's why there's nine. I think there were actually seven, or no, never mind. There were nine, but they should have done that. They should have made that that there were seven, and that there were five dwarf lords instead of seven. Um, I think Tolkien should have done that. I mean, should have done that, and so that like they could actually show that um, some like two people got caught and were stabbed by the swords, and they turned into ring wraiths. But yeah, the cape cape is just amazing. It has um, holes in it. It's all tattered. It's amazing. It has the Darth Sidious torso piece. Cold black legs, a plain black head, and a black hood. Really nice in the face. Okay, so now the first part of the set is this piece. Now this doesn't go there. I just put it there because I liked it. <laughs> I just wanted to put it there. I just wanted to throw. It's an extra piece. You get like two extras of these. And I just kind of change them around, put them around and stuff. Actually, well, you do get two, but I don't know what happened to the other one. I think it's up in my room. I'm just sitting on the ground. Or in somebody's hand, and somebody's saying that he's selling, like, crest water salad or something. <laughs> so it's like a little, supposed to be like a little bog or a swamp. So you, you have that really quick build. It comes with the first, this is all, the, these, this is all the first bag. Just this part, the swamp part, and the ring race. It's the first bag. Second bag is half of this thing, like n n with nothing with any detail or anything, and Aragorn. Then it comes with the hobbits, and all the detail gets put on and stuff and inside. Okay, so yeah. Now let's move on to the set. They just went, Lego went really crazy on this set. So yeah. Looks like it's all tattered and windblown. Let me. Zoom out. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom out. Okay. You get the, you get the, you get, like, you get it. Then, um, I have some of these, they have, it uh, comes with, oh, whoops. It comes with, I think, three of these, or four, because I think that there are some more of these pieces, like, two more inside, like, on the inside things. Yeah, like, I can feel them right now. Yeah, so there's two more inside, um, which I will get to. Then, here it is. It's a pretty cool thing. I think it might be the same as the voodoo doll, but not the same as the trophy. The trophy that they have and stuff. Or maybe the voodoo doll, because 
I don't know what the voodoo doll is because there's actually a in the Queen Anne's Revenge set there is a voodoo doll you get a Jack Sparrow voodoo doll I don't have the set I just watch a lot of reviews and I decided to do some myself okay so this is the campsite you get a little pot with some fire, a carrot, um, an app, a, gr a light green apple, Granny Smith, um, and you do get a piece of ham, um, and it's somewhere in my room, but it's a really cool piece of ham, just ordinary piece of ham, and I think there is a turkey piece, and you can attach the piece of ham where the legs should be, and it's a really cool thing. That's why they have those little things, not just so that you can hold it, like, so that you can actually like put it back on the thing. And if you guys were wondering what that thing on the front was and why there were just these two random things here, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so say, um, second, say a ring wraith is coming to get Frodo. Just need to put the sword on him. Um, say a ring wraith is coming to get Frodo. Frodo, see, look, this is how you put the ring on. You just kind of, you know, I just put it on his hand. Oh, you can make him hold it like that. And I did that once, and I made, like, him and Gollum fight over it. <laughs> they were both grabbing onto it. And then you can do this. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you Frodo's double-sided face. He has a calm side, which is a relief, because if that was how the minifigure always looked, that would be a weird minifigure to have. So look, then you can have him, like, have it on. I'm just going to have him hold it. Like, have it on his hand, not, like, having... Okay, so let's say that Frodo's, like, over here, hiding in the corner... Um, and the ring wraith comes to get him, and he's about to swing, and boom, he falls down a, darn it, his sword was sticking out. There goes the moment. Oh, the camera wasn't on it, thank God. Because that would suck. <laughs> okay, so, he's coming, he's gonna get him. He's lifting his sword, swing, and whoops. Holding on to, never hold on to these guys by the hoods, or because like, like if you're like in public or something, because it, it'll fall off. Then you'll be like, wait, where'd he go? And you won't know where he is or anything. So I just, because the cape kind of makes it hard for the hood to stay on. So has the sword up. He's ready to swing and. <laughs> Yeah, so if you can fall down there, there's like a trap door. Uh, okay, sword's in the way, so I can't close it up, but it would give it an ominous effect if it... Oh, there we go. Wait, no. That would give us an ominous effect if it closed up. Okay, I'm just not going to close it. Okay, so now this can open, but you have to be very gentle when you open it, because sometimes it can't... Oh. Get the, this is the Frodo that comes in the Shire set. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you Frodo's double-sided face. Here's his determined, serious face. See, there we go. Got to focus. So yeah, there we go. Um. So let's close that up. And then see, here's the inside. There are the two other of those pieces. You get a, it's not exactly carbon black, but it's kind of like light black. Um, you get a light back black spear. And then you get a, um, light, um, black sword. Um, it's not focusing very well because um, it's just all black. Then um, here there are these two things like I was talking about. They they help support this. Um, just have some things over here. There was a mouse here. And he's upstairs on the bench that I had this on. 
um, I'm gonna sh show him to you in another video. So keep on watching for ones that have this t the today's date, the 12th, or probably not the 12th when this is posted online because we haven't posted any online. Um, and yeah, so the same day as this video is, probably look for another one. Okay, then over here we have like this little thing. I don't know what it's for, but it's just this is supposed to be some sort of like battle rack thing or a place to table or something. And then here we have two flip fire missiles. I'm gonna show you what that looks like from the front. There are those two things right there, the two brown studs. So yeah, these are really easy to fire. It's, I'm glad that that one didn't go on the floor like the other one so that I can actually show it to you. This is what it looks like. It just has an ordinary, I guess it's supposed to be like some sort of, it's all like rusted up or something. And broken. <laughs> and then I don't think I got to show you the Aragorn figure that well. See here we have. He even has the. Let me try to zoom it in. Well, I think you, if you have good eyesight, you may be able to see that. But um, on his neck, um, you do get the evening star, the life thing, the thing that um, had um, Eowyn. Um, she gave it to him. Um, so she gave up her immortality and gave like this necklace to him Yeah, in the first movie Then here he has his long sword. It's really cool but although They were here before they went to Rivendell, so I think they kind of messed up on that I think they shouldn't have had the evening star because he got that in Rivendell, but This is a weather top scene is before they went to Rivendell so yeah, really nice pieces. We have a bunch of torches right there and right there. The top. That's where the thing is. Although they do have two holes and only one. So I think that they should have improvised and saving plastic and made it only one thing. But then again, that does hold up those like trench things. Oh yeah, love the staircase. The staircase is really cool. Here, see. But they're kind of hard to deal with a little bit. Because you see, sometimes they come undone and there's like this huge gap right there between the things. So if like you ever slide it, it's kind of like messed up. And you have to like, it takes forever to like make it back how it was. See, look, it's going to take me forever. Okay, so I'm just going to close up. Close up shop. And back there, there's the review that I did recently or you might be watching this before you watch that review that concludes it for this 2012 set review